Elmer Davis once said, this nation will remain the land of the free only so long as it is the home of the brave. To honor the brave men and women who have served our country's military and those who serve today so we may live free, let us all say thank you. Here's a look at the events honoring the veterans of Ascension Parish. On Veterans Day, Remembrance Day, Armistice Day, or the Day of Peace, this day has many names. The world stops in silence to pay tribute to the heroes of the battlefield who never saw themselves as heroes. To that, I say we owe veterans more than our silence, our memories, our thanks. President Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. When we think of how much our veterans and their families have done for our nation, how do we honor their sacrifice? How do we celebrate their service? How do we do these things in a meaningful way? How do we make a difference in the lives of the men and women who have made such a difference in our lives? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam. And Father God, we thank you for the veterans that been through the wall. We thank you for the ones that are on active duty right now. We ask for your protection upon them, on their families, their homes. We thank you for the ones that wanted to make it and couldn't make it. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. To the flag, United States of America, and to the Republic, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I read something this morning that kind of stuck with me, defined what a veteran is. A veteran is someone who salutes the flag, someone who gives all for the flag, and someone who's laid to rest under a flag. And that just touched my heart, and it means a lot, and it does define uh, what a veteran really is. No one should ever forget our brave men and women who answered our nation's call and served the cause of freedom in a special way. I would like to ask you to consider their sacrifices in a moment of silent prayer. Thank you.
The gentleman that came to me years ago in the early 90s about a veterans park, Mr. Gordon Knapp, who insisted on the eagle in front, the beautiful eagle, I can say it's, uh, it's a gorgeous thing, uh, passed away last year and uh, he was a veteran of three wars and uh, it was very fitting that uh, we dedicated that eagle this year to uh, Mr. Gordon Knapp. His saying was, famous saying was veterans helping veterans and that's what this is all about. Just as a nation rallies for the troops in time of war, the same country must hand, grab that rallying spirit for its veterans during times of peace.
Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. Welcome home, man. <laughs>